Okay, we're going to show you the proper mixing techniques for DC315. It's really important to make sure that the product is mixed for five minutes, and we're going to use a Helix paint mixer. I'm going to insert it in and run it at a reasonable speed. It's really important to not overly agitate the paint and create foam on the top of it. Proper mixing will uh, blend both the binders and the adhesives together and ensure a much better coating. The other thing is that through proper mixing for five minutes, you're going to reduce the viscosity and make the application easier. As we mix the, the pail, you're going to notice that you really don't see a lot of striation. And what I mean by that is there's not a lot of visual change to the product. The viscosity will change, but it's hard to feel while you're mixing. So as you look into the product, it's, you know, continue to move your helix paint mixer up and down, scraping the sides and catching the bottom of the pail. So as we reach the end here and bring the Helix mixer back out, you'll notice the viscosity is real thin and you have a great product to use.